The hour of trial. What does it mean? Hi everyone, it's Maria Maumela. Thank you for joining me. We are still on our Bible study, still on the book of Revelations. Let us read Revelations chapter 3. I'm, I'm, I'm not reading the whole thing. We've already read the whole thing. Now I'm just addressing certain things, okay? So we are reading Revelations chapter 3 verse 10. It reads, Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test those who live on earth. Verse 11, I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. Yeah, I think I only want to read 10 and 11. So what is the hour of trial? I make a distinct difference between the tribulation and the great tribulation. With the tribulation, I, I, I liken it to persecutions. Like that's what people are going through in other countries. So people are being... Um, their lives are made difficult. They may be um, living under bad conditions because they are Christians. They may be isolated from their communities, from their families. So they may be imprisoned. Some are beheaded. Some are killed for the gospel. Okay? So those are persecutions. So persecutions vary from just uh, being being mocked, you know, being ridiculed all the way to... to to being killed okay but now the lord says since you have kept my command to endure patiently what's enduring patiently what are you enduring patiently the sufferings we are all in different countries and we are all enduring different things even in in your own country people are suffering are going through different sufferings okay and the lord is saying because you have endured patiently I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test those who live on the earth. Now, this is with regards to the great tribulation. The great tribulation will be no joke. It will be no joke. Okay. And I will definitely be teaching on that. I cannot really wait to teach on that. I think I have this. Uh, I think it's it, it's not a joy or or it. It's a hope or it's a, it's a joy slash hope in the Lord for the revelation that God gave me because like your girl was terrified. Like I was terrified. I always said that thing like the Bible speaks about running to the mountains, hiding like what do, what do I know about surviving in the wild? And why would God want to put me in such a situation? You know, like as it is, I'm trying to work out my salvation so that I'm out of here. Like when things get hard, I want to be out of here. And the Lord wanted to address that. I've already told a lot of my end time dreams, but I'll only be quoting them as per, as, as a, those that are relevant and only pointing out parts that are relevant. I won't be rehashing dreams that I've already told, but I'm going to be speaking specifically to address parts of the word for our for our understanding. So the Lord speaks about um, saving. It says, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world. So now the Lord here is saying, I'm going to keep you from the hour of trial. And let us, let us, let us be careful of adding onto the word. You know the the Bible itself it's a mystery. It's 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 multi just a single verse it's multidimensional you guys. The Lord says understand it says I will keep you from the hour of trial. He doesn't say how. Do you know that you can the Lord can allow you to lose your life to to help you to escape. You know we we I don't know, we, we, we're too soft, you know, we're just too soft. That is why it's just hard for us to even imagine persecutions, you know, at a, at a greater level. You know, we are just not used to, to such. But now the Lord says, I will keep you. He doesn't say how. 
you know, he may allow natural disaster to, to, to just uh, allow you to just go home. You know, it might just be something that's just quick and then you're out of here. Or it could be the rapture itself. So let us be careful of adding and assuming, okay? Because the Lord very much opens. This is, this is like a clear open window of possibilities. I will keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to those who live on the earth. And the Lord can achieve this in many ways. I think it would be totally ignorant of us to even assume that the only way God can get out of out, can get us out of this is through just the rapture. That is just no. Okay. I feel the book of Revelation, not just the book of the, the Bible itself proves that there's just many ways in which God can achieve this. Okay. Um so I'll also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test those who live on the earth. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. Now, the, the, the word of God helps us to understand that our lives play, like the way our lives are written, um, they are written from the end to the beginning so god has already has a plan for us it's already a blueprint but now the lord is saying like so that you do not lose your crown means there is a crown that's already there prepared for us but god is issuing a warning that yes it can be forfeited yes we can lose it and it's arrogant for us to think that well god has called me god has showed me this god has showed me that i will never fall off the wagon i will never forfeit it because god loves me very much but the very position which god has promised you god has pro promised you some of you some positions of authority and influence as it is there are people sitting on those seats those people who are being removed once were some of them once were in god's in god's will you know once left right before god but then they forfeited it you know, before King David could be anointed, the Lord had to first deal with Saul and convince him and let him know, not even convince him, but to just uh, reveal to him, help him understand why he's forfeiting his position. So God loved Saul. So for Saul to lose his position, it means that the next person who was coming had to keep themselves in check. The life of Saul was a testimony to everybody that the lord can replace yes the lord can replace let us look at vashti vashti was replaced now it 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 was just a, a testament to everybody that a queen can be replaced so even esther as she was coming in as a new queen she knew that there was a queen that was replaced she replaced a queen so if vashti could be able to lose her position even her could also lose the lose her position as queen you know Vashti lost her position as queen by embarrassing her husband and she she was looked at as someone who disrespected her husband and also disrespected the king you know so she yeah she had it bad there was no way of escaping there so yeah, we are still continuing on with the book of Revelation. I promise you, like, if you just take the time to read, you'll, you'll realize how much you understand. You know, we like to look at the book of Revelation and think it's complicated. But the more you read, just read it and then you take a break. When you're done reading the book, you know, read other books and then you come back again. And slowly things will be revealed. And when the Lord sees your desire to want to learn, to, un to want to understand it, and then the Lord will be able to continue to give you revelation. The reason I'm encouraging you to read other books after reading the entire book of Revelation is because other books have to shed light on what you just read. And we are going to come across scriptures that, that shoots back to um, to other scriptures. That shoots back to the, both the Old and New Testament to help us to understand exactly what God is saying. So I'm making these teachings so you cannot say, well, I do not understand. 
um um well god i did not understand um i guess i i, I misinterpreted like you know there's really no excuse there's really no excuse you know any other thing that is not clear like bring it to the lord you know it's only a matter of time before the lord brings a revelation or a person who's gonna probably be teaching on a uh, teaching making a video on the teaching concerning that which you're not clear like god can do anything god can use anything so i'm just trying to present these teachings in just simple basic everyday english simple basic everyday understanding like you cannot misunderstand this okay and one last thing i would also encourage you to also read this book in vernacular okay for further understanding so Thank you guys. God bless.